Hello guys, welcome back to a Boom Beach video. Today I am going to be using the new Rainmakers for the first time on my account. Let's do this. Let's buy it. Uh, uh okay, we bought it for one day. So it costs a million gold for me. If you're a lower level, it, it's a lot cheaper. Um, I might even have to buy the eight million gold sometime. Um, but first, let's load up our Rainmakers and get into the challenge. Here we go, guys. Today, we're going to be hitting our, our first base. is going to be an all-mortar Blackguard base builder base. But here's the deal. Rainmakers stand out of range of mortars. So we're going to... This is what we're going to do. We're going to kind of spread out our troops a little so they don't all die by splash. And I need to boost up. And we're just going to see how well... How, which, which troop is going to win. <laughs> Mortar versus mortar. Um, maybe I do need to... Oh, dang it. Okay. Uh, mortars deal quite a bit of damage. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. We're going to boost up HP. We're going to boost up... Uh, 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 a gumboat energy so I can drop all eight. And... It looks like our troops were not able to... Uh, we Yeah, we did. We were able to clear... The beach so no mortars will be in range it's hard rainmakers are hard to use because pretty much every defense but the rocket launcher and shock launcher are going to be out of range of the rainmakers so it, it's kind of it's kind of stupid guys to be honest they have too much range um okay let's do our boosting and let's try it one more time i'm gonna drop him in a clump and i'm gonna drop smoke on them and we're gonna see which troop can deal more and I'm gonna drop a lot of med kits so first of all let's boost up two so I can have or we'll boost up three so I can have a little energy for med kits we'll boost up HP and we'll just get damage also why not I have power powder I'm not using so we're gonna drop should we just do it down here might be might be easier yeah we'll just do it down here we'll drop our smoke we'll drop all of our rainmakers We'll drop. They shouldn't walk out of the smoke because the collision is still very, very weird. And we'll get a couple med kits down here. So the mortars don't all kill. See, I need to. Yes, the med kits didn't not even help. Um, so it looks like two mortar shells are going to fire. Three mortar shells are going to fire by the time my raid makers fire. <laughs> Dang, so you know what in a 1v1 battle. I'm gonna have to give it to the mortars I mean rainmakers could stand out of range of the mortars, but uh, They can't beat them Well, we could have beat it in the first battle. But anyway, let's jump on to the next base I feel the need to attack some lower level defenses to kind of prove my worth to myself We're gonna drop a couple critters. We'll drop all of our rainmakers um, and we'll drop a cryo bomb <laughs> to slow down the shock launchers and my rainmakers are just gonna go to work dang it okay that's not gonna work is it <laughs> oh man we're gonna drop our hero uh, they also fixed the beach for small bases so you can fit all nine boats on the beach we dropped our our hero to absorb the shock it the shocks I was gonna say shock launchers, but the shock launchers aren't firing shock launchers. It'd be cool if there was some sort of conveyor belt building that every once in a while it would drop a new building. And it's random, so it can drop any building. Anyway, some people wanted me to make... Uh, okay, it looks like we'll be fine here. <laughs> yeah. Some people wanted me to make a prototype versus proto troop video that might be coming out for the final proto troop but uh honestly like how am i supposed to do that they, there's only three proto tr prototypes and there's eight proto troops so i don't know if it's quite a fair battle but i can definitely try and see how how it goes i say it every time guys and i do it every time every pro every base builder episode needs to have a GBE run so this is what we're going to do we're gonna drop our troops and we're gonna watch them go to work here uh, I love this troop so much honestly oh my gosh it's so beautiful I gotta say it's not as satisfying as the Lasertron versus GBE run but uh, it's still 
looks pretty cool to watch. If you guys want to see the Lasertron one, go back a couple videos to the Lasertron Blackguard video. I'll try to remember to put a card on the screen, but don't expect it. It's, it's very hard for me, especially when I'm pre-recording videos, to remember to put cards on the screen. So, I'm so sorry if I don't remember. I don't know why it's so hard. Some YouTubers don't have problems. But uh, anyway, the base is getting destroyed. We are getting a lot of energy, but honestly, it's kind of boring to watch. I'm not going to lie. We're going to try to find a very cool base. Maybe like all level 1 rocket launchers or all level 1 shock launchers versus my proto troops. See, the problem is I can't just do any building because like if I do an all flamethrower base, it's just going to be like a GBE run, you know? I have to do like rocket launchers and shock launchers to make it a decent a decent video you know you know what I'm saying guys you know what I'm saying um okay I'm feeling I'm feeling a hyper barrage but not on the base we'll just do it down here we'll try to burn a big black hole in the ground dang look at that not as not as big not as big of a dent as I wanted it to be you know sometimes you can make one that just like burns I, I believe I need to use artillery We'll try that eventually, hopefully, in today's video. Anyway, let's uh, try to find a fun base design to hit. Not not a boring one. Machine guns aren't going to do anything. Um, oh, we could do all level 1 mortars. Yes, let's do it. All level 1 mortars versus my proto troops. And we'll do it in the same way. We're going to do this. And we'll drop our smokes down. I'll get them right up to the corner here, and we'll have some fun taking down mortars using our proto troops. I wonder if the proto troops will damage themselves shooting at such a close building. Yes, they do, and I killed four. I killed five of my <laughs> five of my eight proto troops just by the damage dealt. Dang it! Ah. That makes me feel so bad. I was the one who killed it. Let's see if this one proto troop can clutch it up and defeat. Just clear a park, you know? Clear a spot where the mortars won't be firing anymore. It's this mortar down here. These two mortars down here. Uh, gee, look at this up here. Wow, what a nice, what a nice base it is. Oh wow, the mortars are gone. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, retreat. I'm not waiting two minutes to watch my Pareto troop try to deal damage. Here we go, guys. All level one shock launchers. Let's go. This is not going to work at all. We're going to try it. Okay. We're going to use our hero to distract for me. And, oh my gosh. <laughs> looks so funny. Um, and we'll get some cryo bombs down to help out a little bit. We'll get some med kits on our hero so we don't lose our hero. And let's deal some damage. Let's even boost up our hero's ability. And let's uh, destroy let's destroy this bad base of ours. Or of black guards. Dang. Look at that. Just so much power coming from these. They pack such a punch against the lower levels. Honestly, guys, if you are a lower level and you can get at least one proto troop in, this proto troop is going to crush it for you. Honestly, guys, it, it's so it's it's insane the damage it deals. Um, and we'll keep dropping critters to distract, and we're just trying to take down as many shock launchers as possible. But we gotta make sure we're not clumping up, because if our troops clump up, all of the shock launchers will fire at our clump. And it's just not going to work, so we need to just spread out our troops and try to deal some decent damage. Wow, it's so cool to watch, guys. I fanboy so much over Proto Troops, I've realized. So, I'm sorry, but tell me this isn't cool. They to fire four bullets, and those four bullets explode into more bullets. Next video, guys, we are going to be using Grenadiers and Rainmakers, and we'll try to have some fun and we'll see how that strategy works but uh that's pretty much it we're gonna be able to defeat the base it looks like let's drop a cryo bomb to just slow down the last couple shock launchers 
and we'll just finish off this base. His very, very fun. Anyway, that was it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Guys, I'm making a lot of prototype videos, and hopefully, we still. Hopefully, I'm not going over the duration of the prototype. But anyway, that's enough for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to drop a like. As always, I'll see you guys in the next Boom Beach video. Bye.